In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a data entry form. So first, let's zoom in so you can clearly see the cells. Now let's expand the width of each cell. So in the first one, I'm going to type in the first name of the individual and then the last name. Now let's say the person's physical address. And then after that, let's choose email and phone number, just to keep things simple. We can add more options, but this should be enough. Next, select the five fields that you have, and then click Insert, Table, and then My Table Has Headers. So now that we have this table, we can go ahead and make a data entry form. So let's go ahead and select the five fields that we wrote into Excel. After that, go to File, click Options, and then once you're there, on the left side, scroll down to Customize Ribbon, and then when you see Choose Commands From, instead of selecting Popular Commands, go to Commands Not in the Ribbon. Now from there, scroll down and look for something called Form, but don't add it yet. Click New Tab and then rename the new tab. So let's rename it to Data Entry and then click OK. Let's highlight New Group and then let's add the form to it. So now we have a Data Entry form and then click OK. And notice that we have the option here, Data Entry. So if you click that and then form, this data entry form will appear. And so now we could enter information into this form and it's going to populate our table in Excel. So let's add something in. So let's make up a name. Let's say Kelly. And then for the last name, Williams. Let's put a street address, 235 let's say Main Street, and then email address, we'll say kelly.w at live.com. Phone number, so let's say it's 773, and then 465-2385. And then click New, and as you can see, the information that we've entered into this form is now in the table. So let's add another name. Let's say John Smith. And let's say his address is 7056 Park Road. And his email will say john.s at yahoo.com. Let's say his number is area code 212-358 dash 9475 and then we'll click new and so we can keep adding information uh, to uh, this particular uh, table that we have set up now you can click find previous and it goes to the previous entry click it again it goes to the previous entry before that Kelly Williams or find next and you can always go from one entry to the next you can also scroll up to the first one or scroll down to the next one or go to a new one and so you can create a new record let's do one more so let's say the next one will be Rachel let's see last name hmm let's say Rachel Wilson address 785 North Hampton Road and then email, we'll say rachel.w at hotmail.com. Phone number, let's go with uh, area code 813-472-3815. And then click new. And so that's a simple way in which you can create a data entry form and also how you can uh, enter it 
into a table. Now let's get rid of the data entry form and let's create a new sheet. So notice that the data entry option is still present for this new sheet. So we can select it again. We don't have to go through the process of adding a data entry into uh, this top toolbar here. We don't have to do that again. So let's create a new form, or rather a new table. So let's say the first cell is going to be customer ID. And then after that, the full name of the individual. We'll say email address, sales revenue, phone number, and age. Actually, instead of sales revenue, let's change that to annual income. So let's highlight the six fields that we have and then click a data entry form. Actually, first, let's turn it into a table. So insert table. My table has headers. OK, now let's go to data entry and then let's click form. So as you can see, now it's it's very easy to make a, a data entry form. Once you have that option in the toolbar, you could just make any data entry with a table that you create. So let's say the customer ID is going to be 11235-4623. And the full name will be, let's say, Lauren Smith. Email lauren.s at, let's say, aol.com. And let's give her an annual income of 75000 And let's say her phone number is area code 917-258-7327. And let's say she's 27 years old. And as you can see, it works just like before. If we make a new record, let's say customer ID 11, actually 10475-3874. Let's say Jared James is the name. Email jared.j at msn.com. Annual income, let's say 78,000. Phone number, we're going to say area code 352. And 49. 6-2300. Let's say he's 29 years old. And so now you know how to make a new data entry form without going through the process of putting this uh, field in the toolbar section. Now there's something else that I do want to mention and that is how to remove an entry using the data entry form. So let's go back to the data entry form. Let's highlight our table and then click data entry and then form. So let's say if we want to remove Jared James. So let's find his entry and then simply click delete. And then you get this little dialog box. And so the displayed record will be permanently deleted. Click OK and then it's gone. So that's how you can remove data from your table using the data entry form. Now, let's say if we want to open a new workbook, a blank workbook. So let me move it so that you can see the entire workbook. Notice that the data entry tab is still there. And it's going to remain there until you remove it. So if you wish to remove it, here's what you can do. Right click data entry and then select customize the ribbon. And so this familiar page will show up again. So once you have this option highlighted, simply click the remove button. And that's it. It's gone. It's no longer there. And then when you're done, just click OK. And as you can see, the data entry tab disappears. It's not there anymore. And so that's how you could remove it if you ever need to. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to create a data entry form using 
Excel. Thanks for watching.